November 22, 2025, a date that will be remembered, not just in the Philippines, but around the world. The world's eyes are on the West Philippine Sea, a vast expanse of blue now transformed into a stage for international tension and uncertainty. Massive ships from rival nations face off, their steel hulls looming over the horizon, while Filipino fishermen, brave and determined, try to make a living in waters now fraught with danger and unpredictability. Headlines scream about territorial dispute, sovereignty, and international law. Newsrooms buzz with urgency, reporters racing to cover every new development as the world holds its breath. The Philippines stands at the center of a global drama, its every move watched, its people caught in the crossfire of powerful interests and shifting alliances. For coastal communities, the sea is no longer just a source of life, but a frontier of conflict. The familiar rhythm of daily life is now interrupted by fear and uncertainty. Imagine being a fisherman, turned away from ancestral waters by foreign ships. Generations of tradition and livelihood are suddenly at risk, replaced by anxiety and frustration. Water cannons arc over small boats, sending fishermen scrambling for safety. Diplomatic statements echo from distant capitals, each word weighed and scrutinized by millions. Maps with tangled lines flash on news screens, each one a claim, a challenge, a reminder of how complicated and deeply rooted these disputes have become. The world sees a nation at a crossroads, but the daily news often drowns out deeper stories, stories of resilience, hope, and the quiet strength of ordinary people. Beneath the surface, the Philippines holds secrets far older than any modern dispute. The sea conceals not just conflict, but also history, beauty, and mystery. These stories are written not in headlines, but in ancient bones and stones, waiting to be uncovered. Reminders that the past, too, has a voice in today's drama, and that the true story of the West Philippine Sea is still unfolding. The Philippines is more than a strategic flashpoint. Over 110 million people, a vibrant culture and a global workforce connect the nation to every corner of the world. Its history is a crossroads. Chinese merchants, Arab traders, Spanish colonizers, and American influence all woven into daily life. The archipelago's biodiversity is legendary. Coral reefs, rare eagles, and unique species found nowhere else. This natural wealth is a global treasure and its protection is a shared responsibility. But, beneath the forests and reefs lies another story, one of ancient humans and vanished animals. Caves and soil hide a history that stretches back hundreds of thousands of years. This is not just a story of nations, but of our earliest ancestors. The Philippines is becoming a key site in the story of human evolution. Its significance is not just geopolitical, but deeply paleontological. Let's step away from the headlines for a moment away from the constant noise of breaking news and political debates that fill our screens and newspapers every day. Instead, let's listen to the whispers of the past, carried on the wind and hidden beneath layers of earth, waiting patiently to be discovered. While politicians argue and the world's attention shifts from one crisis to another, archaeologists quietly work in the background, unearthing clues to our origins and piecing together the story of humanity. In remote caves, along forgotten riverbanks and deep within the soil, they find bones, tools, and pottery. Silent messages from people who lived here long before nations, borders, or even written history existed. Each artifact is a piece of a vast, intricate puzzle, connecting us to a world measured not in years or decades, but in millennia. These fragments remind us that our story is much older and more complex than any single headline. The present, with all its urgency, is just a thin layer atop a vast, ancient foundation built by countless generations before us. One day, today's conflicts and triumphs will be just another layer of history, buried beneath the surface, waiting to be rediscovered by future generations. The story of the Philippines, for example, stretches far beyond colonial rule and the struggle for independence. It is a tapestry woven from thousands of years of human experience. It's a tale of survival, adaptation, and ingenuity, reaching deep into prehistory, shaped by the hands and minds of those who came long before us. By digging into the earth, we uncover not just old bones or broken pottery, but a deeper understanding of who we are, where we came from, and how we are all connected. The soil here is an archive of our shared human journey, preserving memories and stories that would otherwise be lost to time. The past, silent, but enduring, shapes the present in ways we're only beginning to understand. Every discovery brings us closer to the roots of our identity, reminding us that history is not just behind us, 
It lives beneath our feet, waiting to be revealed. On the surface, ships clash over resources and territory. Tensions rise as nations stake their claims, each vessel a symbol of sovereignty and power. The world watches as these confrontations play out, headlines capturing the drama of modern geopolitics. But beneath the waves and soil, the real treasures are ancient, fossilized remains, migration routes, and artifacts. Hidden from view, these discoveries tell stories that stretch back millennia, revealing secrets of our earliest ancestors and the journeys that shaped humanity. The same island can be a military outpost, a fishing ground, or an archaeological gold mine. Here, soldiers patrol, fishermen cast their nets, and scientists unearth relics, all on the same patch of land, each group seeking something different from the past or present. Modern disputes seem small next to evidence of human activity from 700,000 years ago. The ancient skulls and bones remind us that people have called these places home long before any modern nation existed. These ancient bones and tools belong to a time before nations, before borders. They speak of a world where survival, adaptation, and migration were the only boundaries that mattered. They remind us that our true heritage is shared, not divided. When we hold these relics, we connect with a story that belongs to all of us, regardless of where we come from or what flag we fly. The land and sea hold layers of meaning, conflict above, connection below. While the surface is marked by struggle, beneath it lies a record of cooperation, migration, and shared discovery. The lines on today's maps are recent. The stories beneath them are timeless, borders shift, Governments change, but the evidence of our shared past endures, waiting to be uncovered. The discoveries here challenge us to see beyond politics, to our common origins. Each artifact is a reminder that our differences are recent, but our connections run deep. The past doesn't solve today's conflicts, but it puts them in perspective. It asks us to consider what truly endures, our divisions, or the legacy we all inherit. Our deepest roots are not in division, but in shared survival and exploration. Across continents and centuries, it is our curiosity, resilience and unity that have shaped the human story. The Philippines was born in fire, volcanoes, earthquakes and shifting seas shaped these islands. This volatile landscape bred resilience and diversity, both in nature and in people. Fertile volcanic soil supports life, but danger is always near. Communities learn to adapt, coming together in, to survive disaster. The archipelago's geography, thousands of islands, prevented any single empire from dominating, allowing unique cultures to flourish. The sea connected, not divided, these communities through trade and kinship. Changing sea levels created land bridges, letting animals and early humans reach the islands. When the seas rose, populations became isolated, evolving into unique species, like the Tamara and the Philippine Eagle. This same process shaped human evolution here, making the Philippines a living laboratory for adaptation. The land's challenges forged a spirit of strength and creativity. The story of the islands is one of survival, innovation, and endless transformation. In Kalinga, Luzon, archaeologists found a butchered rhinoceros bone, cut by human hands 709,000 years ago. This discovery shattered timelines, proving ancient humans lived here far earlier than once believed. Then, in Kalau Cave, scientists uncovered bones of a new human species. Homo luzonensis, who lived 50,000, 67,000 years ago. These small-boned ancestors may have crossed seas, hinting at early boat-building skills. Island isolation likely led to their unique features, a process called island dwarfism. These finds rewrote the story of human migration in Southeast Asia. Before, Taban Man was the oldest known Filipino at 47,000 years old. Now, the story is much older. The Philippines was a stage for ancient human drama, not just a footnote. These discoveries reveal a complex mysterious chapter in our family tree. The first explorers of these islands left traces that still shape our understanding of humanity. The Philippines' story is carved in stone and etched in metal. The Angano petroglyphs, 127 ancient figures on a rock wall, date back to 3000 BC, the oldest art in the country. These carvings offer a glimpse into the beliefs and rituals of Neolithic Filipinos. Long before foreign scripts, Filipinos had their own symbolic language, another breakthrough, the Laguna Copper Plate Inscription, a legal document from 900 AD. Written in a mix of Old Malay, Javanese, and Sanskrit, it proves early Filipinos were literate and connected to Southeast Asia. The Copper Plate mentions chiefs, judges, and officials, evidence of a complex society. 
these artifacts show that the islands were home to organized, sophisticated communities long before colonization. Early Filipinos were not isolated or primitive, but part of a vibrant, literate world. Their legacy is written in stone, metal, and memory. For years, Philippine history began with Magellan in 1521, a colonial myth that erased ancient achievements. Recent discoveries are rewriting that story, revealing a deep, complex heritage. The butchered rhino, Homo luzonensis, Angono petroglyphs and Laguna copper plate are building blocks for a new national narrative. Filipinos now see themselves as heirs to a history of innovation and resilience stretching back hundreds of thousands of years. This pride isn't about nationalism, but self-respect and truth. Knowing your ancestors shaped history changes how you see yourself and your place in the world. Museums and textbooks are slowly embracing this deeper story, helping to decolonize the Filipino mind. Artifacts become proof of intelligence, organization, and connection to Asia. When students see these relics, they see a reflection of a proud ancient heritage. The past, once forgotten, is now a source of identity and inspiration. The story isn't finished. Most of the Philippines remains archaeologically unexplored. Thousands of islands, caves, and coastlines may still hide secrets of our deepest past. Each discovery raises new questions. Who were the first islanders? What happened to Homo luzonensis? Are there more unknown species waiting to be found? The search for origins is a national journey, inviting everyone to protect and explore their heritage. Local communities play a vital role in safeguarding these treasures. So next time you hear about conflict in the West Philippine Sea, remember the deeper story beneath your feet. The Philippines' greatest treasures aren't just resources to be contested, but ancient legacies to be discovered and shared. Our true wealth lies in the stories still waiting to be unearthed.